guys, it's your intoxicating bartender here. Don't forget to subscribe to our intoxicating tastings. We are on Facebook. We have um, our lovely YouTube channel. Don't forget to press subscribe. And we have our wonderful website, www.intoxicatingtastings.net, where you can sign up so you don't miss any of our fabulous reviews. This week, I'm excited because I really plan on flooding your timeline. I owe you guys. I've been gone a couple of weeks between being out of town in Vegas where the liquor is overpriced and really they don't have great selections to, um, you know, because we were on a strip, to being bombarded with 12 girls in my house and it just really wasn't to be responsible to be drinking with other people's children. But I am back. Um, today is kind of a gloomy day here in Chicago. Uh, fall is really trying to run, roll in, which is really making me sad. Uh, summertime is my favorite time. You know, we rosé all day. But now we're going to start switching back into some of those nice uh, succulent uh, wines and liquors that, you know, we have missed over the summer. Today, um, as a warm-up, just as I am just kind of uh, releasing from my work week. It's been a crazy month. I have chosen this Inama Vin Suave. And technically all that means is Inama is the maker. It's the last name of the maker. Um, Vin means wine and Suave is the type of wine. Um, Suave is actually a region in Italy, Northeastern Italy. Italy and so that's why it's called Suave. This is a Suave Classico which speaks to its quality. That means it is not the bottom of the barrel, it is actually in the uh, middle. Um, above Classico would have been Reserva, uh, Classico Reserva and um, this Inama actually considers this their entry-level wine. Oh can you see? Yeah. Inama actually Peekaboo, huh? Considers this their entry level wine. And so we don't have the Reserva here, but what we do have is a fabulous priced wine. $13.99 for this is a 750 milliliter bottle. Um, you'll get about five glasses of wine out of this. And it is 12% alcohol. $13.99 for a Italian white wine is really good. Um, Pinot Grigio, also, I, I consider it along this level, and I normally pay about $20 for a good bottle. But this maker actually says their, their motto is a little luxury for every day. So they consider this, they, they want you to look at this as a high-end wine, um, which I think is phenomenal for $13.99. And um, so we're going to really dive into that, okay? I have my wine glass here. Let me see, what else can I tell you about this wine? Okay. So as you see, it is a white wine. I know my red drinkers are like, when are you gonna get to reds? And I'm really working on maturing my palate for you guys. I don't wanna give you Pinot Grigios and you're like, I mean, not Pinot Grigios, I'm so sorry. Pinot Noirs and you're like, that's not real red wine. So uh, I don't wanna make sour faces, but this is a beautiful light yellow. Can you really see that? I'm gonna show you up close. A beautiful light yellow white wine. Now, in a suave, um, we expect um, floral notes. We expect pear, which is kind of like the color of this wine to me, pear and red apple flavors at times. We expect high acidity, medium body. Um, it's normally unoaked, which means it's not going to have all of that dryness to it, like a Chardonnay maybe, because it's made of stainless steel vats. Um, and we just expect a very versatile wine, all right? So, first thing I'm going to do is smell it for you all. Mm, and it smells very floral. I mean, I definitely smell... So, what they tell you you should expect to smell is chamomile, elderflower, iris. I can say I can smell elderflower. Um, I'm a city gal. Sorry, I'm a city gal, so I really am not sure what iris and chamomile smells. Actually, I'm lying. I've had chamomile tea, but I'll take this as more of an elderflower. I don't know what iris smells like, so maybe you, those of you who have, if you decide to go out and pick up this phenomenal bottle, you can tell me what you smell. Um, what we expect to taste 
in a suave is minerality. Um, this suave was actually produced in volcanic soil. So what that means is that, you know, that soil has a little bit more earthiness and minerality, um, you know, because, you know, volcanoes have the lava and all of that. And so we'll get a lot of mineral from that. You, sh you should get a lot of mineral flavors from that. And then, of course, that floral, since you're really smelling it. So we're going to taste it and see. Yeah, I definitely taste that mineral quality. I keep swallowing because my mouth is definitely watering, which means we definitely get some acid, a lot of acidity from that, which is really good. I get this uh, elderflower undertone. It's kind of like uh, this, I don't want to say sour, but it's kind of like this. I mean, that's the only way I know how to, to describe it. Sour, succulent flavor. Um, not like a sour head candy, but just kind of like tart. That's the perfect word. This tartness to the wine. It's really just pleasant. It lingers for quite a bit. And in the end, we're supposed to taste this sweet almond flavor, which I do get this almondy flavor at the end of once all that's uh, like you finish swallowing <laughs> because it's so acidic. Um, you do get this sweet almondy taste at the end. Almost like uh, my boss gets these almond pastries that are really good. And I definitely get that flavor from that. So um, this wine is doing everything it's supposed to do. I don't get much fruit. I'm not going to lie. I don't taste much pear. I don't really get much apple. But the winemaker does not. It, they specifically state that you don't get much fruit for it from this wine. So they have done exactly what they said they are going to do. That is the only characteristic of the Suave that we are missing. But when it's all said and done, it gives me what a good Suave should. It's very, it has um, a nice finish, just really nice glass of wine just for a gloomy Saturday afternoon. It picks me up. Let's see. Yeah. I would definitely give this four and a half stars. Um, I, I would say fill my glass. I would definitely definitely finish the bottle. Um, I don't know that it would be my favorite go-to, but in a crunch, $13.99, um, it pleases my palate. I, I, I won't complain for that price range at all. Um, you could pair this with fish. You could pair it with sushi. You could pair it with salad. Um, it even stand up with a nice uh, pasta with lemon sauce. I mean, it's very acidic, so it'll cut a lot of things, and it's just a very versatile wine, so I appreciate that. Um, if you are looking to go up, th this Anama makes seven different variations of white wine. This wine is made with 30-year-old vines, which to me states quality in itself, 30-year-old vines. The step above this is made with 40-year-old vines. They have different... Um, varieties which can you know bring in some say they bring in citrus flavor and it just all depends on where they plant um in suave so in order for it to be called a suave wine it must be planted in the suave region of italy and that's the northeastern um region and they just find different ways it depends on how the sun hits it it depends on the soil it depends on if it gets a lot of mist is it up on the hill is it down on a plane and so they have several different variations which i am looking forward to try in the future um because it is a good wine 12 uh percent alcohol have i hit on everything i'm trying to think if i have forgotten anything they do also make red wines my light, my sunshine has gone out over here. My fake sunshine. Okay. They do also make red ones. Um, they have four, four different variations of that. So you should try, see if you can find that. And maybe I will too and see if they can convince me, convert me over. Um, anyways, besides that, I definitely um, recommend it. And I hope you enjoy it. For $13.99, what do you have to lose? All right. Um, pick it up. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to Intoxicating Tastings. Like our Intoxicating Tastings Facebook page. And sign up for our, um, our videos to come directly to you at www.intoxicatingtastings.com.
dot net all right dot net um just go to our contact us page and it's all right there um oh the other tidbit that i like to i know you're probably like well if this is supposed to be a quality wine why is it so low this suave is half of this winemaker's production okay so you know i always talk about small batches when you make things in bulk you have the ability to make things lower priced um you know because of the fact that you're making so much of it um so i believe that is my professional opinion as to why the pricing is so low they're just able to do that because they're making it in bulk and it's not in oak barrels it's stainless steel vats which means they don't have to wait for it to mature as long um and so um that's my opinion but let me know what you think all my wine lovers out there um give me your professional opinion and i can't wait to see you next time